In an article titled Horrible Slaughter of Indians, one newspaper described the massacre committed by the United States Army on Clear Lake, and I quote, little or no resistance was encountered, and the work of butchery was of but short duration. In December of 1849, Pomo and Wapo people were being held as unfree laborers under appalling conditions. People were being worked to death, women were being systematically raped, and people were being shot and tortured to death. In response to these horrible conditions, they killed the two white ranchers who held them. In response to this double homicide, vigilantes and regular United States Army soldiers killed as many as 1,000 Indian people or more. Then after authorities arrested some of these vigilantes, California's Supreme Court, in its very first case, let all eight men go on bail and never sought to actually try them. Meanwhile, the United States Army also sought to avenge the deaths of the two white ranchers. Neither sex nor age was spared. It was the order of extermination, fearfully obeyed. As many as 800 California Indian people died that day. Other killings followed, and the officers involved were not censured. In fact, they were all promoted. So a new factor was at work, large scale, extended vigilante and United States Army killing campaigns tolerated by both state and federal authorities.